Okay, so in this video, we want just to to know how we can find the direction of a vector. Okay, so in the previous video, we talked about um, how to find the the angle and everything. Okay, and uh, for just a look up, we said that if we have got um, a vector which is lying in the first quadrant, all the vectors are supposed, all the angles are supposed to come from positive x-axis. Meaning, if I have twenty here. I'm supposed to get the angle from positive x-axis. So it's supposed to come from here all the way to this line. Meaning that for this vector, I'm going to use 20 to resolve it. So all the angles are coming from positive x-axis. That is what we said. So now, let's talk about how to find the same direction. Okay, That is also very, very important. We need to know. So let's have our x-y plane. Okay, And then remember, we are going to have... Um, this is going to be our north. Okay, so we have our north, our east, our south, our west. So we know that this is the first quadrant. This is the second quadrant. This is the third quadrant. And this is our fourth quadrant. Now we know that this line here is positive x axis, this line is negative x axis. This line is positive x-axis. This line is negative x-axis. That is very, very important, guys. Now, when you are resolving vectors into x and y component, remember, you are going to be adding those uh, components. Now, you discover to say you have got the x component, which is uh, positive, and the y component is also positive. Now, where do you expect this angle to fall? Definitely, this angle is going to fall in first quadrant. Why? Because in the first quadrant, that's where we have the x is positive, the y is positive. So this line. That angle is going to be in the first quadrant. Now, after using the formula, remember our formula was theta was equal to tan inverse the let's say we have is y the y component divided by the x component after plugging in the values using this formula let me let me write it here the x we have tan inverse we have the y divided by the x so after plugging in the values using this formula this formula what we have to understand is that in, that angle is going to fall in the first quadrant now, after finding the theta, that theta is going to be the answer. So, theta is the answer. Okay? Now, let's say that the x component, you discover to say the x component is uh, negative, the y is positive. Let's check. So, we can see that the x is negative is this line, the y is, neg is positive is this line, meaning the angle is supposed to be in second quadrant now in second quadrant after it plugging in the values now what i have to, to remind you is that whenever you are using these principles you ignore the negative don't plug in x as a negative just ignore the negative and then after ignoring the negative follow these principles which i'm going to tell you so you're going to say that 180 minus the theta which you're going to find after plugging in the values here okay so you're going to see some examples which we're going to have so now let's go to the next one. We have, let's say we have the x is negative. The y is also negative. Definitely the angle has to fall in the third quadrant. Third quadrant, we have got the x negative, the y positive. The angle is supposed to be in this quadrant. So in the third quadrant, what we do is uh, 180 plus the theta. Remember you ignore the negative. Don't plug in as a neg negative here. Just ignore any negative which you say. Okay, so the fourth one is going to be when the x is a po positive, the y is negative. So the x is a, a ne positive, the y is negative. Definitely has to fall. This angle has to fall in the fourth quadrant. In fourth quadrant, we have this positive, this negative. We have negative the y, the x positive, so it's going for here. So now, 
what we need to understand is that when it falls in the third qua fourth quadrant, it's going to be 360 minus in minus theta, the one which you have found after plugging in the values there. That is very, very important. Now, let's get to see some examples. we see how we can solve some certain examples. Let's say we have the angle. Let's say we have the, the vector. Let's have two vectors. Okay, let's have two vectors. We have vector A, which is 20, 20 uh, meters at an angle of um, 40 degrees. We have vector B, which is lying, which is uh, 40 meters at an angle. Let's say it lies in um, toward the positive x axis. Okay. Now to resolve these two vectors, it's very important for you to come up with um, you come up with a, an x y plane. So x y plane is going to be here. So we're going to have our vectors. We know that the first one is uh, 40 degrees. So 40 degrees, we know that these vectors, they're always measured from positive. X-axis is going to be here. Okay, it's going to be, it's going to be here. So here is going to be our 40. It's going to be our vector A, which is uh, 20 meters. So the angle is going to be 40 degrees. Another one is uh, we have vector B, which is lying toward the positive x-axis, meaning the angle is zero. So to find, the question is, how can we find the, the resultant? So to find the resultant, since we're talking about the vectors, as long as they're asking you to find the resultant, they're asking you to find the magnitude and the direction. So to find the magnitude, first we have to resolve each vector. This is vector B, which is 40 meters. So we have to resolve each vector into x and y components. So we're going to say that the ax is going to be, we know that resolving a vector into x, x is going to be a cos theta. So ax is going to be equal to, our a is uh, 20, the vector, because the angle is 40. So our ax is going to be, uh, we are going to have um, 20 cos 40 which is going to be 15.32, 15.32 meters. So that is the x component. Let's go to y component. A, y is going to be A sine theta. To resolve any vector into y component is sine. So it's going to be, um, A, y is going to be, the A is 20, sine 40. So our A, y is going to be equal to, we have 20, sin 40 12.886 I'm getting a 12.86 I've just rounded off it's 12.8551 or 75 so I've just rounded off so to create space I can put these here I have ay I have ax as um 15.32 ay as a uh, 12.86 cool now let me get rid of this let's go to vector b vector b we have um we're going to say that b x is going to be equal to vector b cos theta so the b is a uh, 14 because the angle is zero degrees so what is 40 cos zero it's going to be 40 cos 0. I'm getting 40. So my Bx is 40 meters. Then I go to the By. It's going to be B sine theta. It's going to be B sine theta. So it's going to be By. It's going to be B is uh, 40 sine 40 oh sine 0 so this is going to give us 0 it's going to give us 0 now we have the x so now what we need to do is uh, the question is we want to find the resultant let's put them here the a the by the bx is uh, 40 
the by is 0. Let's get rid of this. Now, after resolving each vector into x and y component, we need to add the x components alone and the y component alone for us to find the resultant. So it's going to be the resultant for x component is going to be the ax plus the bx. So the rx is going to be this is the, the the x component of the resultant which we are trying to find. So it's going to be the ax is basically uh, 15.32 plus the bx is uh, 14. So we are going to have uh, rx is going to be equal to uh, 40 plus 15.32. Point, point so I'm getting 55.32 meters. That is the x component of the resultant. Let's go now to y. So we're going to have the y component is going to be a y plus b y. So let's plug in the values. The a y is a 40. Oh, the a y is 12.86. The b y is 0. So our a y is going to be 12. 86. Okay, so that is our one. So let's just do this. We can just get rid of this now. And then we want to find... Okay, let's just get rid of this. We want to find the resultant, remember. So to find the resultant, let's just put the Rx. We know that Rx is 55.32 meters. want to find again we have found the ry as a 12.86 now we want to find the resultant after getting the after you add the only issue here is that as long as you have been given maybe more than one vectors you have to resolve each vector into x and y component then add the x components alone add the y components alone okay so now after adding them meaning you have now what you have now is this this is the resultant we are trying to find. You have now the x component, which is the rx, and the y component, which is the ry. Meaning you have gone back to the Pythagoras theorem. So here we are going to say the resultant is going to be equal to the square root of the rx squared plus the ry squared. So this is going to be... So the rx is 55.3 squared plus the ry is 12.86 squared okay so we get our calculator and then we find the value now that will be our magnitude so it's going to be 55.32 i squared plus 12.86 i squared i'm getting um now I need to square root it. The answer has to be square root it. So I'm getting 56.79, which is the same as just 56.8. So my resultant is going to be 56. Point, uh, let's just put 56.79 meters. So that is my resultant. But the moment when you leave the answer just like this, meaning this is not a vector a vector can't stand alone without the magnitude sorry without the direction so this is just the magnitude we need to find the direction earlier on we said vector quantity is a physical quantity which has got both magnitude and direction so we need to find the direction now to find the direction remember we say that to find the direction we use the formula which is going to be the theta it's going to be equal to the tan inverse so it's going to be the ry divided by rx then it's going to be the theta is going to be equal to tan inverse remember we, we don't have any negative but if we had negative maybe it was negative 12 we would have ignored the negative and follow the principles so ry is at 12.86 the rx is 55.32 let's plug in and find the value of x so it's um shift you press where there's shift and then it's going to be turn it's going to be shift you press where there's turn then you open the brackets it's going to be 12.86 divided by 
55.32 close the brackets so I'm getting 13.08 which is just the same as 13.1 so 13.1 degrees that is what I'm getting now after finding the theta you are not done after finding the theta we'll go back to the principles now where we said if the x is positive remember here now i'm talking about the resultant after finding here we can see that our rx was positive our ry was also positive here is positive positive so we go back we said that if ry is positive the x is also positive definitely the angle has to fall because this is the positive y this is the positive x the angle has to fall in this quadrant the first quadrant so the first quadrant the theta which you have found that happened to be your answer meaning that this is our final answer okay very important so if it was negative let's say that the rx was negative so if the rx was negative meaning that the angle was supposed to fall in this quadrant the rx is negative meaning the pos the y is positive it's supposed to fall in this it was supposed to fall in this and then you say 180 minus the theta that would be the final answer okay so you get to see how we are going to be solving the questions because next chapter we are going to talk about how to solve the questions but before we do that we need first to know how to sketch the vectors Okay, thank you for watching this video. See you in the next lesson where we're going to talk about how to sketch the vectors. Okay.